Hello and welcome to yet another video and in this video it is something different because I'll be comparing two camera backpacks and yes there are actually two different series of bags and also two different sizes but at the same time when I was looking for a camera bag well a camera backpack to have and I was really struggling with these two models so I hope that this video at least will help some of you out that are actually comparing these two models. I know that it's really two different price points as well, one is 70 euros and one is like 150 euros. So yeah, but I would still like to compare these two nonetheless just for fun as well. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So these are definitely two different series of camera bags and just a little disclaimer, this is just a video that I really wanted to make because when I was looking at camera backpacks I was looking at these two models and at the end of the day I decided to actually purchase both of them simply because they both have what I need and they have both have their pros and cons. Some of them I didn't really see during like when I was looking at the products. I only really really experienced it based on like when I take it to like my shootings, both professional and personal shoots. So yeah, it's just purely based on my personal experience with these camera bags. I'm not saying that my cons is like gonna be applied to everyone. Maybe some of the cons I mentioned is like a pros for some of the photographers or some of you guys out there who are actually watching this video. So without further ado, let's actually start with um the designs of these bags. So the designs of this bag and the pros and cons in this video actually is not in particular order by the way, it's just um, how I list it. So the design of this bag, well this bag is definitely not as sturdy as this bag. This is really built really well. It is also much heavier, not in terms of its size, but also in terms of the material they use. This bag, if you are traveling a lot, I feel like this bag will protect your gear more because it's really, really sturdy. It doesn't lose its structural integrity. There are a lot of um, dividers in here that they gave you in the very beginning that you can just customize the whole thing to yourself. Like if I just open inside here, all the inserts here are also very, very sturdy. But even if you take all the inserts out, this bag would still remain in its form. Whereas if you were to take the insert of this camera bag out, you're actually playing with the actual structure integrity of this camera bag. It becomes very loose. And this also, as you can see, it actually takes much less gear than all the dividers that were in the Protactic. This is the Proto Active, and the other one is the <laughs> the uh, Pro Tactic. Proto Active, Pro Tactic. This is the version 300. The other one is 450. So there is that size difference. That being said, this camera bag, though being a little bit more loose of a design and more flexible of a design with more pouches it actually stands up right. That camera bag, the sound you hear of a camera bag dropping is actually, oh, this camera bag. It just wouldn't stand up right. Even if you lean it to the weight that it's actually on, sometimes it actually just doesn't stand up right. And I just feel like it's such a shame though, because like sometimes getting gear out, it's just easier for the camera to actually stand up right. But I also understand the engineer point of view that all photographers will probably access their main gear by using this, so they would need to put the camera bag facing down anyway. So yeah, there's probably that, oh. And if you're traveling a lot, by the way, there's this thing that you can just put onto the uh, handle of your luggage so it stays onto your luggage, whereas this camera bag doesn't have it. And also the waist strap on this camera bag is a bit thinner. It's like a normal strap, whereas on the Protactic, it's a thicker one with an extra pocket. But I find it to be really, really annoying to use that because it's just not big and comfortable enough. And talk about comfortable, I feel like it's so much more comfortable to actually have this on your back. Like if if you actually feel this part, it's really nice cushion out and everything, and I think it's also thanks to this really comfortable laptop compartment design in here that it's also really well designed with the Protactic. When you fit like a computer in there, it's also really, like a really snug fit. Whereas this, it's rated to 15 inch MacBook Pro, well 15 inch computer as well, but I have my 15, 15 inch MacBook Pro in here together with like a photography book, some other documents, and it just fits perfectly fine. In fact, if you fit in like a 16 inch MacBook Pro, I think it would still be in here very comfortably. 
However, back to the original story, it's just from the design point of view, it's just still really comfortable. Whereas if you were to outfit this bag with everything, it feels like you have like a plank of wood on your back because this is definitely still really hard and not as comfortable to use. And the straps here, it's just not as soft as this one. This one feels thinner, but in the same time, I feel like you can really balance the weight and, you know, feel less of a weight with this particular strap than this strap, even though this is more spongy. But for some reason that, in my opinion, it is kind of feels that way. <laughs> Now I bought these two bags to also fit my professional size body, that means like the 1DX style body. And obviously this camera bag natively will fit that, which is good because this also means that the actual inserts are deeper. And when you have deeper inserts, it means that you can also configure the inserts differently. So rather than always having everything upright like this, you can also divide it in half. So by using the extra dividers that they gave you, you can just put other accessories that you may need not as much underneath and then divide it in half and then put other accessories on top of it, maybe the smaller or like the smaller lenses that you might need more frequently just on top so you can always have an easier access to those accessories or gear that you will need more often. And this is actually a really really solid shell whereas this is very flimsy. Now um, obviously the inserts from here doesn't support the 1DX style body but you can actually configure this top section to actually fit the 1DX body and still being able to add other accessories in here. That being said though, this is also a huge flaw that I really hate about this bag is that the accessories you put in here regardless of whether it's small or medium size somehow will end up being from top of, top over here to down here simply because the uh, the inserts here are not really precisely measured or designed or made to the uh, full size of this camera bag but yeah otherwise you know you can make this camera bag work if you design it properly and know which gear to fit where like to your needs and also customize a little bit but just keep in mind that when you do customize the actual dividers in here you're also playing with the actual integrity and the sturdiness of the bag whereas with this bag you just feel free to um, organize things that you like, take out as much dividers as you want, and you're still not really playing with the uh, integrity because of how solid it's already made. Uh, otherwise, I also like the pouches on the sides of this bag. This bag has more pouches. Yes, with the Protactic, you can add on other things here, but to, to me, I find it a little bit flimsy. And the uh, side pockets here on both sides aren't really as flexible or big enough, in my opinion. Whereas with this camera bag, you are able to fit many, many other things in here. And trust me, it's, it's really elastic and it's really sturdy and it's also very, very comfortable for your gear or other things to fit in here as well. And over here usually would be like a rain cover, but I took it out because it's summer right now and I think you can see from the sweat on my face that it's really, really hot. We're experiencing like a little mini heat wave right now um, here in the Netherlands. So yeah, but otherwise this is a really, really nice material as well, despite being, you know, more flexible, but I feel like you can actually take this on a hike um, climbing on mountains and it would still be fine. Another thing that I really like about this bag is also the whether ceiling or like the basic ceiling on these zippers. For sure these zippers are smaller and it doesn't feel as solid as the other zipper on the Protactic but at least this one has these ceilings on here which you know prevents certain rusting or just kind of preserve the quality of the zipper that much longer before it needs to be serviced things like that so I really really like that design of the uh, ceiling on these zippers by the way as I just remembered as I was also talking about like hiking and mountain climbing you can actually convert this compartment into this water tank um, pack that you put in here and then the plastic straw or the rubber straw would also come out here and then go down here so when you're hiking or you know camping somewhere for like far distance you can actually utilize this bag way more for that purposes than with this camera bag so yeah with this camera bag I would say it is more flexible than the other camera bag 
though it's not as secure. Talking about security, there are actually these straps that you can secure your zippers with. It's similar type of um, hook or loop on the other zipper on the Protectic, but this one there is actually this strap to actually lock it in place. It's an extra stage of security which can make you feel safe, but if you're traveling in Southeast Asia where you have a lot of professional pickpockets with these knives that cut through bags like butter, you won't really feel it and this feature will just, you know, it's a gimmick pretty much. It's, it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> but here in Europe, I think it's okay to have these extra features. It also kind of helps with the integrity, like the structural integrity of the bag. So, yeah. That being said, the material choice on this bag is also nice. Just because it's not really solidly made as the other bag doesn't mean it's not really rugged. It's just meant to be more flexible, yet tough. So I think just to conclude, if you're looking for a bag that is more friendly, doesn't scream camera bag, and also more flexible to work with, I think that this bag would be the way to go. Yes, it is smaller, but you can configure things to do, like configure this bag to do many, many things. And for like a daily camera bag, this bag would be really, really nice and light to also carry. And as I said, very comfortable as well. Whereas if you're looking for like a travel camera bag that you know you'll be putting the camera bag in the overhead bin or just throwing your camera bag, like if you're hopping from taxis to taxis, from um, airports to another, like if you're really working hard with your equipment and want it to really be protected, then this camera bag is the way to go. But it does scream really, really a lot of camera bag in here and it also scream expensive camera camera gear in here as well with this bag. So just to keep that in mind. And I think if you're like also traveling but also want to work on a go, this camera bag is also good because of this easier access to your computer compartment. Whereas with this bag, if you outfit everything in here, like fully outfit it, this bag is gonna be really, really troublesome to close. And this zipper is just already really hard to operate and not as smooth as the other one and if you outfit everything you might find yourself having to open the whole bag just to access your computer because it might get squashed with other gear in here so yeah there is that but at the end of the day it also depends on like your personal style of shooting at the end of the day i also know that these two bags are really completely different bags and meant for different different things Originally, I wanted just this bag just for like both daily shoots and also for traveling. But you know, after having these two bags, at the end of the day, I feel like there are two different purposes. I cannot really use this one for daily photography simply because of how uncomfortable it is compared to this one. So yeah, I just have to divide for like this one will end up being my travel camera bag only. And this one will be my daily backpack should I need a camera backpack style for my camera gear because I also love messenger style camera bags. So yeah, I hope this video helped a little bit. I'm aware that the price points of these camera bags are different, but there are also these time of the year that whether it's summer or winter or autumn, what have you, depending on the region where you live, Lopro will also have like 10 to 30% discount on their camera bags, which makes it easier to decide which bags you wanna have price point wise, and also if you wanna have both. So yeah, I ended up getting both because well, this one arrived first to be honest and the other one was out of stock <laughs> but I'm really glad that I also bought this one and kept it because of how much more comfortable it is despite the fact that I hate the inserts inside with all my heart but yeah I think I can also live with this bag despite hating the uh, inserts inside just because of how much more comfortable this bag is but yeah it also depends on the shoot that I take these bags too I hope that this video helps a little bit. I know that some points were a little bit vague, but I hope you can also get some sort of picture out of uh, the situation of using these camera bags. They're both really great camera bags, great at what they do. They both also have really rugged material, just different types of material, but they're both really rugged. And uh, yeah, I hope that this video is a little bit helpful at least. And yeah, if you need a free photography guidebook, it's linked down in the description below. It's absolutely for free, it's on my website. I made it. Um, you don't need to submit your email, just click and download. And otherwise, I wish you a great time. Stay safe, have fun shooting. Bye.